стоит. Раз, два, три. Раз, два, три. Нет, нет, это сильно тише. Раз, два, три. Раз, два. Господь меня искупил, грехи мои Он покрыл, верю я. Зеленый. Есть работа. Давайте, давайте еще, еще. Аллилуйя. Господь меня искупил, грехи мои Он покрыл, верю я. Сомнения и страх, мои и надежный рукав, веру я, веру я. Господь меня уступил, грехи мои он покрыл, веру я, веру я. Окей. Василий Иванович, если вы находитесь в зале, выключите, пожалуйста, обогрев. Спасибо. Мой спаситель жив. Мой спаситель жив. Супа. соло во вторую добавить, добавить. да пожалуйста давайте еще что-то давайте еще что-то
что мониторы? Хорошо. Мне, а, можно добавить в шестую мониторную линию зеленый радиомикрофон?
вечера, шановне панство, доброго вечера. Вітаю вас на цьому місці і щиро вас вітаємо з 23-ю річницею Церкви Посольства Божого. І цей рік – Воскресіння та життя. Давайте віддамо всю славу, всю славу нашому великому творцю. Аллилуйя! Слава, слава, слава тебе, Ісус! Яку ми вже святкуємо третій день. Приветствуем вас, любовью Господа нашего Иисуса Христа, возлюбленные братья и сестры, дорогие гости, в Доме Божьем, на дне рождения Церкви Посольства Божье. Витаемо, витаемо вас, шановные пани та панове, та усіх, хто дивиться нас онлайн. І ми розпочинаємо цей святковий вечір. Ми розпочинаємо нашу вечірну сесію, третю сесію. І не так багато, як ми зберігаємо нашу вечірну 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 And as much as we celebrate the Lord's existence and the Savior of the land, just give, give God glory. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. Louder, 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 louder. Hallelujah. 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 Give God glory, hallelujah, hallelujah.
сосед, скажите.
do that, not abandon, struck down, but not destroyed. I'm blessed beyond a cross, cause his promises and yours, and his joy is gonna be my strength. Though the sorrows may last for a night, his joy comes in the Toca a Diebuski. Da Jesus. Da Jesus. Da Jesus. Mushini fica tudo. Toca a Mushini. Da Jesus. Aha, good. Da Jesus. Da Jesus. Are you tired? Do you see one more? More praises, more praises. Please, can you we just appreciate even as we welcome Pastor Brosser to join us to sing this particular song. Счастливый народ, правильно с Богом победе живет. А 
You got the glory. You, what, a, what a wonderful evening. How to, to, to praise God. How is it great and wonderful to praise God? Dear, bro, dear brothers and sisters, congratulations, 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 year of resurrection and life. 20, 23 years of our anniversary. Resurrection and life. Аллилуйя. И ця, и ця річниця особлива. This is Кто благословен цієї річниці? Бо Воскресіння приходить у всі, у всі сфери нашого on, on життя. А ще вона особлива своїми дарами та талантами, які відкриваються для нас кожного дня. А в цій опер талант я маю бажання і можливість запросити на цю сцену Амелію Підлісту до сестру з Ладоньки центру позашкільної роботи художник Світлана Садовенко естрадного мистецтва України професор академічного та естрадного академія National Academy of Culture, laureate of international culture, Ukraine. Итак, встречайте, welcome, приглашаем, welcome, welcome, with a great applause, welcome, a sister. Мы вас витаем святом, с великим святом. We congratulate you all for. Our anniversary, 23rd anniversary. What a great work. We welcome you all. Even as we do our presentation in the Ukrainian language, as we have a sister that is dressed in the Ukrainian, is dressed in the Ukrainian culture, addressed in Vishivanka. Just to showcase that the spring is, uh, is around. So let's just welcome our sister as she does her presentation. Presentation of uh, Ukrainian language singing for the glory as we work on the season of spring. Yeah. 
And now I'd like to sing a song. It's a joke song. Як служив же вину пана, та й перше є літо за літо. Заслужив же вину пана курочку за літо. А та курка чуба, турка посадочку ходить, та й ходить. Курчаточок водить, та й водить. Як служив же вину пана, та й друге є літо за літо. Заслужив же вину пана качечку за літо. А та кача дрібно скаче, а та курка чуба турка по садочку ходить та й ходить. Курчаточок водить та й водить. Як служив же вину пана, та й третє є літо за літо. Заслужив же вину пана гусочку за літо. А та гуся, сюся, сюся, а та кача дрібно скаче, а та курка чуба турка по садочку ходить та й ходить. Курчаточок водить та й водить. Як служив же вину пана, та й чотвер. Master, and I've got a reward in that. For the next summer, I served to my master, and the reward was... Як служив же вину пана, та й шосте є літо за літо. Заслужив же вину пана, те лятко за літо. А то те ля хвостом виля, а то й дик-дик-дик-дик-дик, а та гуся, сюся, сюся, а та кача, дрібно скаче, а та курка, чуба, турка, по садочку ходить та й ходить. Курчаточок водить та й водить. Як служив же вину пана, та й сьоме є літо за літо. Заслужив же вину пана барана за літо. А той баран курторогий, а то теля хвостом виля, а той індик-дик-дик-дик-дик, а та гуся-сюся-сюся, а та кача дрібно скаче, а та курка чуба турка по садочку ходить та й ходить. In my garden, I have a lot of animals, a lot of birds. And for the next summer, I have to serve the master. My reward was a young lady. And that lady was dancing around and around. And close to them, a goat, a cow, and a duck, a chicken. Dog, goose, and they were walking around my garden. Hey! А та кура чабатура по садочку ходить та й ходить. So the chicken is walking in the garden. Давайте, будь ласка. Please don't go away. Let us welcome. Let us give a round of applause for Amelia for this wonderful song. А зараз іще вона хотіла вам всім заспівати. She would also like to sing a song. Послухаємо. Let us come together. Amelia Pidlisna. Amelia Pidlisna. Amelia Pidlisna. 
Oh, my native people, let us come together. We will spend time together. Oh, my family, come together. Because there are a lot of us. Family, come together. Because there are a lot of us. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Wonderful! Great! Thank you very much for your art. Give them, a, give her a round of applause for her talent. Glory be to God for our talents. Praise, praise the Lord. So do you want her to sing the joke song again? So as I served, as I was serving my master for the eighth year, my reward was a young lady. She was dancing, dancing in the in the yard in our garden, and there were a lot of chicken, ducks, cows, goats. Around our garden. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Alina, Amelia, Amelia Piglisna. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord for our talents that she gives to our youth. Thank you very much. Thank you that you give all the praise to our Lord with your talents. Dear Church, it is said in the Bible that we are the letter which is easy for everybody to read. So what should we do? In this case, we must testify about the glory of God in our life. We can say that it's too much of glory of God. God gives us a lot of blessings each day and we can see a lot of things to give Him praise for. So let us now listen to testimonies. Please, church, greet them. Good evening, my name is Olga. I'd like to testify about the miracle in my life. God healed me. For 23 years ago, I had a cancer and I was struggling with this cancer. I don't want to talk about it because I don't receive it. After the third operation, I was sad that I got cancer, and after that, I was operated. After the eleventh year, I was laid on a stretcher. I was operated on chemotherapy, radiology. After the third operation, I came to the church and I knew that God was with me. I was already on the problems of this problem. I was with me because I knew that he was with me. I knew that he was with me. I knew that he was with me. I knew that he said to me, don't be afraid, I am with you. And each problem it made me more strong and I give all the glory and thanks to God but last year 
Another problem came into my life, and I started coughing with blood. Of course, doctors, they watch my health, and twice a year, doctors uh, test me, and they know me, they tested me, and they saw that there is some spot on my lungs. And we made another test, and they said a, d a new diagnosis to me. They said that I've got lump, but I said that, God, you are my resurrection, you are my life. And I knew that God is with me. So doctors told me that I can go through chemical they said that I can go through uh, chemical therapy or they can make operation for me but I said then that God that God you is my restoration yours you is my life so you help me all the time and these in this case you will help me also and I give Thanks to Pastor Bossi. Pastor Bossi, I tell you, thank you very much because you prayed for me, you took care about me. She was never passing by me. She was always encouraging me. And thank you very much, Pastor Bossi. I'm very grateful to my home group, to my leader, Lydia, to Fatima, Sveta, Tanya, Luba who supported me, who gave me money, and always encouraged me. Thank you, Pastor from Belarus and Russian people who support me in Peter, Svetogorsk. So, on the 14th of March, I was made computer tomography and before that we prayed in my home group with my home group members and they told me you'll testify so after a new test medical test doctor asked me did you take chemi chemical what did you use to heal yourself? I told her I received the word of God and she smiled and, and told me it's everything clean, your lungs are clean. So they gave me the results of the test and they said that it's clean, so my organs, my lungs are clean. Absolutely. So, in that hospital, I was crying because of great gratitude, because I was so grateful to God that He healed me. And other people, they stood and watched me. They thought that something bad happened with me. So they started to ask me, what has hap happened to you? And I told them, believe in God. God healed me. So each of us should believe in God and have faith. So make a small step and God will go to you in 10 steps. So change your attitude to any healness to any disease because God is merciful thank you very much church so her, ch her heart is so grateful give praise to the Lord because there is nothing impossible for our God 
I just want to thank God for uh, standing on this podium to give him glory for what he has done in my life. I was, I can tell you, I was an unbeliever. I was a, an unbeliever. I did a lot of things. And that's why I did a wide away my time in the world. And I lost a lot of things. But it wasn't not that easy for, for, for me to. It wasn't an easy something. It was a painful thing quite painful for me for now coming to know God and growing spiritually I started doing things to earn a living to get money there was a time I even lost my senses I don't want to go more, more into that during that time I even lost some some money. Some people deceived me and then defrauded me a lot, a huge amount of money. And because of that, it was very difficult for me to come out from that uh, situation. And at that time, I didn't know God. And uh, as I decided and then I told my wife that I'm, I'm not ready again to continue to leave since the world is all about what you can do, uh, how to steal, deceive people, defraud people. Yeah. So I told my wife he shouldn't, he shouldn't just cry. That, that uh, if anything happens to me, she shouldn't just cry. I will thank God as God began to touch me and begin to touch my, my heart. And uh, uh, during all this uh, year, that time I had a, the tension of even taking away my life. But thank God I started reading the Bible. I even read some epistles from the Bible. And I begin to touch my, my heart and I begin to go toward no need of God. And I begin to know that really uh, God is interested in me and he's looking for me. He needs me. So I begin to drop that uh, idea of killing myself. And I begin to run or go to uh, knowing God better and better. And I begin to under have the understanding of knowledge of God. And I have to take a, a walk of faith to accept him uh, ye, of almost five years I've been coming to this church and then I went for the home of rehabilitation thank God, glory to God I understand that the healing and the deliverance of God comes after he, someone has totally given all he has to God and surrendered total surrendering to God and God has been able to change and transform my life. Thank God I'm in the church, uh, church of God today. today. I just want to give God all the glory for what he has done in my life, what he has transformed in my life. How, I was, uh, how God made me to lose all so that I can know him or know him better. Because if I didn't go through those circumstances, I wouldn't have known God. As I want to say, give, give God all the glory. Because I, I have nothing for me to say, this is what I can withhold from not giving God all his glory for, for the great things he has done. The, the, the rehabilitation that I went through, went through very fast and then I thank God I'm heady. And I can find peace in God. Hallelujah. So, so, so only, only someone that have been delivered by God's grace that can receive such a wonderful smile. 
you, you right, this is a great uh, the testimony that you gave. Because, because sometimes we think differently. Uh, sometimes we think maybe because someone has lost maybe his mind, or maybe because of depression and stress. Therefore, the person has no good life, but inside, inside, a lot of things are just going on. And this, what is going on, what leads to people having stress and depression, and then people begin to think of them taking away their life. Therefore, we need to always be careful to know how to have no understanding of what people are going through. No. Well, uh, uh, my, my daughter is just looking at you to snap you. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> not only my daughter that just noticed, noticed you, I also noticed you. <laughs> I also noticed you because uh, uh, you're looking nice. Your hair is nice looking bro blondie. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. Uh, we will always try our best to look uh, nice and look cute so that we can have a, a greater uh, str strength look near. We, we, we always here to come to listen to God's word so that we can have the strength to stand all s situations. Everybody that is in this hall, uh, whether you're doing one thing or the other, uh, or I just want to uh, recognize people that are just here in the in this in our congregation, this auditorium for the first time. I just want to pay attention to you people because today is a special day because you people are a special special people in a special church. Uh, you can know that the testimony that our brother and sister gave is just real testimony. And, a real testimony. It's not a testimony that was just purchased or just someone came and just to say it. This is real. If you are here for the first time, just maybe you were here before with us and then you later left and you are here. Please just come. We would like to welcome you. We would like to welcome you. We would like to welcome you. We greet you. We greet you. Do we have another person? Any other person in the hall? Any other person in there? Please just come out so that we can, together, we can pray, join hands together and pray. Why am I talking emotionally? Because there was once in a time in my life, uh, if not that I, 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 can't, I didn't even understand how far I've gone in the worldly things, uh, taking narcotic and other things. But thank God. God delivered me, and here I'm, I'm free. This is what God can do. Twenty years without any, anything, taking any drugs, nobody can believe it. A, a, a injection or one thing or the other that has to do with drugs or the narcotic. That is what God can do. Yes, therefore, if you are here in this hall, you are still thinking, you are still bothering, whether it is real or it's not real. I'm just inviting you, please, please, please. Uh, it's sometimes you, you, you want to change your life, but you don't have the strength, you don't have the energy to do that. God is calling you. God can do it. Uh, we welcome you into this family. Our family is one family. We welcome you. If you are still in this hall, please. Uh, why? why uh, I, 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 I had this uh, in, in, in impression, why should I even come out to, to accept Christ or to come out and become a believer? But if you are still having such a thought, please, we urge you to come out, please. We have a, a presentation with you. We have uh, some of our pastors and our brothers around you. They will help you to pray, counsel you. Because sometimes if you are in a, a, a ditch sometimes you don't have the strength to draw yourself out of that ditch, ditch someone has to stretch his hand and help you lift you from the ditch that you that you are in 
our, our people, people are coming to give you people a special presentation, a special song to welcome you or, or together. We as a family will be happy for for this particular person, even if it is one one soul, one, even if it is one soul that is being served, it is worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Because one soul can serve a whole lot of nation. So what, what's your name? Uh, Ruslan. My name is Lesia. I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to meet you. Please just give our brother a very wonderful. You look, guys are looking wonderful. They are singing concerning God. They are singing for God. They are for God. As they do their presentation. Lord, for all I say, yes, I'm with a heart of great gratitude. The light of love has entered in my heart. I've seen it, the light, your light of love. I'm grateful. This is the essence. This is the reason why I'm living. Just to give you glory. To honor you, my Father. Glory to you, my God. Glory to you, my God. To you, I will give all the glory and honor. my God my Savior for, for all the things that you have done to God be the glory to God be the glory for, for all you have done my savior for the great things for the great things you have done I give my life to you God only to you only to you And all my life on this earth, my master, my Lord, is just to be giving you all the glory to God. Be the glory to God. To God. Be all the glory to God my Lord we are the glory great things great things you have done to God to God be the glory for the great things he has done you my Savior, you have bought me with your precious blood. And you have saved us from our sins. We, 
we thank we give God glory for your life as you have given your life to Christ today thank you put your hands together and applause and applause an applause for our choir please can you just go with our brothers they will give you special they will give you counsel and then pray for you put your hands together hallelujah before we, we, work, we welcome our presenters to the podium i would just like to say one thing i just want to say something quite simple and effective uh, law, uh, something concerning the law of finance or law of income. We are talking about the, the tithe, giving our tithe to God. I remember uh, early years, 1990, uh, my, mo my mo mother gave me some cu coupons and then sent me for a re rehabilitation. And then we went to the church with these coupons. Oh, with these coupons. Аллилуйя, церковь! Слава Богу! А сейчас нас ждет ряд объявлений. Первое. Напоминаем... We just want to remind you, please put your phone off. Uh, don't put it in mood. Silence your phone, please. To avoid disturbing... We are going to have an exhibition. The church. Thirteenth hour to fifty hour. Here in the church, where we have the church hall outside, there is a, a photo studio. If you are interested to learn how to snap or make videos or snap pictures, you can come over there for training. We'll also be having a seminary uh, that has to do with progressive that will be uh, done by our pastor Lena for the youth, for the younger generations. It will be done. It will be, it will be going in, in the big hall. We are going to have a women's conference called co uh, titled Hooray, I am a I am a woman. It, that will be coming up 8th of April, next week, Saturday, in which every woman will be receive a special, special gift with, a, with this phone number. If you, our brothers and sisters, we are inviting you for a summer uh, 
a summer rest at the Azot, Azot River. If you are interested, please just regi register or you can call the uh, Central Church office to write your name if you are interested. We, we are also inviting you for the celebration of the Easter that will be taking place the 16th of April um, with the music that will be conducted by Ukrainian Cultural Musical Cultural Center. You can get the tickets online. We are having a social project on how to help fin uh, how to on financial projects. If you are interested, please you can go to the information desk and get more information on that. Now we want to present some books that have been written by pa Pastor in our church. Pastor Bosse, How to Be a Wonderful Woman. Another book by Pastor Bosse, Financial Culture. Another book by Pastor Bosse, Stop Before It Is Too Late. How to Be, how to be a God's Agent on This Earth. Pastor Adelaja. How to raise a, a, a young generation, written by our brother Anton Safchak. Uh, Blue on University of Life, Pastor, written by Pastor Sonda Adalaja. Thank you. As a, a as a wisdom for greatness in life. And how to be grateful to God, you know, written by Pastor Sunday Adelaja. A book written on at, at how to op, uh, op, open and have understanding secrets of Thanksgiving. Uh, Heaven on Earth, another CD, a musical CD called Heaven on Earth, it, produced by our brother DJ Light. Thank God. Thank God, thank God. Thank God that we are in our church. We have this kind of information so great, so helpful to people in, li in daily life living. What a great happiness, joy that our, our church is freeing people from narcotics, from drunkenness being of help to the society, to making it a, it a better place. Now we are inviting to our pastor, Les Carola, for, his, for her presentation concerning the rehabilitation center that she's always called, she's coordinating. Let's just give God the glory. Louder. Let's just Welcome the our brothers and sisters that have been waiting for them to come to the podium to thank God or to show what the Lord has done in their life. I, I, I don't know any of us that have done a renovation in his house. You can know you know what it takes to do renovation in your own house. Then that will tell you what it takes. If you can see, you, you just want to relate that to this issue when it comes to spiritually, what it takes to rehabilitate somebody. And then we'll bring that, what it takes to, in the rebuilding of our church. We can look at maybe one million grieving. We can, Uh, we, we, want, we want to make so seed for the construction of the God's home or God's do that is going on. We still have spaces uh, for things we want to build. If God touches your heart, please let just look on the screen. Just. Look on the screen. 
I will have a presentation. 23, 23 years of the Church of God anniversary. Central Rehabilitation Center, Church of God. God. This is the. This is when the church started. The people that started, and how we got the vision of the uh, church rehabilitation center. I don't know maybe who else might be in this video. Uh, who else did we miss in this video? This is our church. Not just to free people, but also to give give people freedom. And we are not only just interested in sitting at home, we are also interested in social uh, activism. I just want you to uh, notice that when you are, as you are watching this video, please just pay attention. Each, in each and every country pays attention to the, their possibility to defend the interests of the citizens, be it ch children, be it elderly ones, so who can give God glory that our church is actively interested in all these areas. The, the, for the first group of our pastors, these are the first people that, that we are rehabilitated in the rehabilitation center. These are the first group. And today they have been able to organize their uh, God have used them to touch other lives if if you if if you are in the congregation if you are in the congregation maybe someone maybe you are part and pastor of the rehabilitation center maybe we didn't call you you are not here in the podium please just come up to the podium maybe by mistake we didn't inform you if you know that the the, the center for rehabilitation helped you to de to deliver you from the narcotics, from drunkenness, one thing or the other, please, we ask you that you come to the podium. I just want to invite Pastor uh, Natalia Pataeva. The very important, that she wrote something, she said, the very important thing to God is people. Everybody living on earth for 23 years, God's embassy had had programs of to rehabilitate people for people to be free, helping out families, helping out male and female people from different culture, different nation, from U.S., from Belarus, from Russia, from Germany, from Bulgar Bulgaria. Please, if I didn't call any of the country, please forgive me. We have people that are parents that God has been able to deliver and are happy parents today, raising children. These are people that we are dependent on uh, narcotics and drugs and today they are fighting against all they can against drugs and narcotics in this church we are taught by the pastors taught on how not to be selfish because you are just like the bible said free you received free you give 
as we received it free, we have been able to use it, uh, give it to others freely. We are saying it because it is a factual thing. Businessmen, politics, politicians, uh, people that are happy in their family, you can see them, uh, give God glory. Absolutely, we have we have few minutes. I just want to give the mic to uh, one of our pastors. Don't forget that the, the fruits that all these people that are here are fruits of Pastor Sunday. Want, I just want uh, Pastor Valera to say something. Dear church, con congratulations for our anniversary. We have something. We have something to show. We have something to teach people. We have something to show to others. The, we are. We are coming from the church. We are coming from. The, this is a place of rehabilitation. We have. We, I want to just say a few things on how we have been moving forward, marching forward, marching ahead. Uh, we have been able to open a new place for uh, people that are coming from the um, uh, where the war is going. And we are helping them in uh, going through their rehabilitations here in Kiev. And as well as people that also... Uh, I was uh, I was uh, taking drugs for almost 15 years today I'm, I'm free T 23 companies or 23 go go uh, I'm interested I've been helping them out uh, one called family love we have enough time to help them out in the rehabilitation my uh, my my soul and my body has been here on the church because it was here that i i received that i, I was delivered from this narcotic thing therefore it's a gift that i received and it's a gift i want to give to others good evening my, my name is valeria from uh, from Pastor Les, for ten years I was taking a narcotic. Today, more than ten years also, I've dropped it, and God has been able to hear me. I just want to say that Pastor Sunday has taught us in this church. It's going to become our doctrine that our doctrine is of different forms. You see different people from, from the uh, rehabilitation center uh, that are doing a lot of the great work based on what God has asked them to do. Our, our paths are quite different. We can see what we are doing in University of Life. We can see what we are doing in the youth generations. Uh, because we still have uh, time and we still have much to do to influence the life of the younger generation that are following after, coming after us. We are grateful to Pastor Sonda Delaja. Uh, uh, our center of rehabilitation will always be a place that will defend and keep it going. I just want to thank God and also give for my pastor uh, for almost nine years now uh, we have been working i've been working in the rehabilitation center and helping people to go through the rehabilitation uh, well, that's, some of them have come and testified what god has done in their life like pastor valeria said uh, if some of them not are uh, even working with the pol uh, police in our city dnipro petros They are even did a, uh, an information uh, uh, list concerning on uh, that, uh, that's a, a, a hotline that if anybody needs help, 
that are working with the police. If there anybody needs help on uh, rehabilitation concerning narcot narcotics and drugs, they can be of help uh, to such a person. That's, they are doing this in this uh, city of Dnipropetrovsk. We, do, we just thank God. Hallelujah. Good evening. My name is Dimitri Karpov. We will travel to Bulgaria and and we open the rehabilitation center. September last year, 2016. Right, right now we have a rehabilitation center that have even extended up to three different places in Bulgaria. I can tell you that we are working with 70 people in Bulgaria that we are working with even in, in, Bulgaria, in Bulgarian language. Thank you, our great uh, dear church. My name is Elena. I came out here as a, a teacher. I was, for nine years, I was taking drugs and, and narcotics. And today I'm a free woman, a free person, all grateful to the rehabilitation center. I'm just saying, if you are a lady, or you are in, it, it doesn't matter whether you are a lady. Uh, so you have the rehabilitation center. We are today now opening another centers so that to get all for women, so that it will be of help to the women. Today we are not only helping out women that are involved in, in drugs. We are also helping out some other people. We don't need to just leave the well, mother love just like that. We have to show the mother love in helping out others that need God's help. We really thank you for uh, and thank God for starting this rehabilitation center. And today you can see what they has brought you can see it has it, how it has wiped away tears from people's eyes my name is christina 15 years i came to this church i was also taking drugs and uh, i was one of the ladies that went to this uh, rehabilitation center called love Well, the first day that I went there, one of the one of our sisters told me that one day will come that you will be helping out in in rehabilitating others, women also. But today here I am. Those what she told me that day has come to pass in my life. To, uh, that today that I'm helping out, that I'm rendering my service. A lot of ladies, Pastor Lena. Uh, the Pastor Lena, I was the leader, and today a lot of women has been freed. We are working with women. We are uh, opening a women's club. Tomorrow we are making a presentation. Uh, therefore, let's thank God for His influences upon our lives. Thank uh, dear church. My name is. I'm a. I'm a pastor in this Germany. For almost for a few years, a few years, several years, I, I took drugs and narcotic, and thank God today that I'm free. For more, almost nine years now, our ch our church we have opened a, a rehabilitation center, and today they have been of of help. In in rehabilitating a lot of people in this area we can i can tell you that we know we have what we call the know-how and we have the program for for healing called that helps people to stop and brings about a complete wholeness a complete wholeness free from narcotics and that they can start they can start and become businessmen teachers whatever they want to be in life all gratitude all gratitude to pastor sunday because you released pastor natasha who came to germany and today 
in Germany we have three rehabilitation centers. Even some, the languages are in German and uh, Russian language. Good evening, dear church. Pastor Sunday, uh, good evening. Pastor Natasha. And, and never in life did I ever thought that one day I'll be uh, helping people out and rehabilitating them from narcotics. Today, uh, I always go for training within Europe. Uh, really, this was uh, it's really a great opportunity. And I really am really grateful to God that uh, that almost 100 people have gone through our rehabilitation center. Uh, we have given such people help. Uh, our rehabilitation center, uh, let's take for instance, we we'll look we are looking at having the, this rehabilitation center in the villages for the young, for the old, people of different age status. And today we are beginning to teach them in a line of rehabilitating them on how to bar bar hair, do other manicure. And our rehabilitation center, we we can have uh, ladies are welcomed, men are so welcomed, younger ones are so welcomed. Just like what our sister Leslie has said, uh, uh, some people are afraid that uh, why, how do you have a, a rehabilitation center? Women are there, the men are there. What? But uh, but that's not a problem. The, 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 we, we have a good atmosphere in the place that the, everybody feels comfortable. And therefore, thank God and uh, wish you a great anniversary. I, I am a curator from Ukraine, a Ukrainian curator for helping our children that are involved in narcotics and drugs. Uh, I remember one day God just woke me and said, I have to pray for a city that concerning the youth that are, that are involved in narcotics and in drugs. I, wa I was, my own, my own case, what I was into, I was a drunkard, not in, into drugs, but I was, thank God that I have a pastor, and I told there, Today I have my helpers, people that are my my group that are helping me. We'll be having a master class today. How do we do it? How do we? Please, uh, just hold those things. Everything that we have there in that basket means something. Uh, think it, since something that God has started and God has started it, nobody, nothing can stop it. This is just a show of our fruits, of our, of our fruits. And we are grateful to Pastor Sunday, Pastor Natalia, Pastor Bosse, Pastor Sunday, Pastor Bosse, Pastor Natalia. Uh, this, uh, this, because we know that this is not from a hum uh, some, uh, human being. This is really from God. The rehabilitation is going from strength to strength because we know this is a vision that is from God. We are going to before you sing your your your, your anthem, rehabilitation uh, uh, center anthem. Please, uh, not uh, just only to just do this presentation, but uh, or just to sh showcase people that God have delivered from narcotics and drugs. I just want us to uh, let me just ask. We know uh, who, who who you were before and who you are now. 
uh, we just want uh, someone to uh, who God has delivered from the uh, from the narcotics to say I was a, na a narcotic and today uh, this is who I am now uh, maybe a pastor a businessman one thing or the other one profession uh, uh, it doesn't matter wherever you are standing just pick a mic and say I was so so and so and now who are Today, today. Uh, oh, just take it easy. Uh, I want you to go like this. I, I was uh, caught. I was into drugs, and today I am free. For ten years, I took uh, drugs, and today I can say that uh care of that's a give up last. I'm a pastor in Kiev Oblast. Ten years, the nine years, I was into drugs, uh, and then I went through the rehabilitation center. To, to, today, I am in, uh, opened a, a fund, international fund, for the helping of children. To, my name is Pavel. For 14 years, I was taking drugs, and I had schizophrenia. I was I was dead to narcotics. I even even added weight for almost 14 kilograms. Uh, today, I'm a pastor in the city of Kamins, uh, Kaminsky. Good evening. My name is, is Andre. 15 years, I was into drugs. Today, I'm a pastor in in the city of Kiev. Today, I'm helping our people, young youths, so for them to know their calling, so that they will not make the mistake that I made. I'm also into business. I'm also a, a, I'm also a member of the committee of Ukrainian Ukra, Ukrainian youth. The minister minister of sports. I was. I'm a, a pastor now. Before I was a, a, a uh, was into drugs. Thank God, I even went to study in the university, and today I'm into business and I'm also helping our people. Uh, Good evening, uh, church. For 11 years, I was I was in, into drugs. I had uh, hepatitis, tuberculosis, because of the all just because of the drugs. But today I was. I went through the rehabilitation center for more than many, for more years now. I've not been taking it, and I went through the fin uh, university, university of Finance in Russian Federation. Today, today I'm a pastor. In, I'm a pastor in Russia, in the, in the city, one of the cities in Russia. F Fifteen years I was uh, into drugs. I even went to the prison. Uh, today, today I'm a pastor in the city in the city of Moscow. My name is Dima. For seven years, I was also into drugs. I went, I went, I went to I went for the rehabilitation uh, center. Today, I'm in Bulgaria, opened a, a rehabilitation center, and then uh, with wife, my wife. Oh, I was also taking drugs. I stay. Uh, I was put in prison severally. T today I am. Uh, I'm a secretary in Chekasi Oblast. And for, uh, uh, concerning human rights, my name is Dimitri. Thirteen years, I was involved in, t in drugs. Six years now, I'm free. I'm a pastor in in the city of Sigar. Twenty three years I was involved in, in drugs. Today I'm free. Uh, I'm working. I've opened an European center. Uh, today I'm a regional pastor for this church. My name is Pastor Valeria. Nine years was in drugs. To ten years I'm free. Today. I'm 
working with a company fund I'm a, uh, so at the same time a director in one of the uh, construction company and I have married have a wife and have children we have done a lot of pro projects on Kiev I want to become a, a lawmaker in Ukrainian parliament so that to change certain things for, for Ukrainian people my name is Valeria I was also involved in narcotics I took drugs Today I am. I had a little testimony. Today I'm. Now, oh God has done so much great in my life. That I, I, things that I've dreamt of, God has helped me to. Uh, uh, is a teacher of English language. Learned. My name is Mikhail. Twelve years I've been free from drugs. I was into drugs. I'm a pastor in Dnipro Petrovsk. And uh, I have a wife and then and three children. What a what a, a, a great upliftment. For 15 years, I was in drugs. Today, I am one of those in the Football Federation of Ukraine. I went into business and then helping out people against drugs. Good evening, dear church. My name is Andre. For 15 years, I was in drugs. I went through the rehabilitation center. Sofisky Center Pastor, one of my pastors is here. Today, uh, today I am working as a, a security man in the church. What a wonderful and miraculous thing God has done in my life. My name is Pechenka Dimitri. I took drugs as well. Went to the rehabilitation center. Thank God. To the, uh, the rehabilitation center, I'm free, a free man today. Uh, I've been, and thank God has been helping me to open a, a social rehabilitation center. Uh, uh, Twelve years we have been, we are in the relationship. That's I have my marriage with my wife. Almost this is my husband, and uh, we have leaders in the rehabilitation centers in our city and we are pastors glory to god and let god continue to bless your family nine years i was 10 years i was involved in drugs today i am a pastor and a missionary in my city good evening church my name is nadejda I'm a regional pastor uh, of this area, region. Uh, due, due to taking of drugs, even though there was a time my, my, my father wanted to even kill me. Uh, I know that when you have influence a mother, a woman, it will influence the society. It will influence the family. And that's where my passion is. Today I am working. I have the rehabilitation center. All for the essence of the, the mothers. Please, Pastor, just tell me, can, should we con, uh, do, 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 just tell me, do, Pastor, do we continue with this or do we? Please, only do, for the leaders. My name is Natasha. Twelve years I was involved in drugs. Two years ago, I, I'm now working in the anti-terroristic uh, anti uh, region, like the Lugansk. And the, uh, today we have opened two rehabilitation centers in those areas that the war is going on. We have two rehabilitation centers that are helping people from the uh, anti-terrorist zone. And we have today we have uh, participants that are up to 23 people. 
all youth and and uh, elderly people and children. My my name is Ladim. Two years, two two years I've been free. Maybe the next few months will make it two years. Thank God to my pastor, Pastor Valeria. I mean, thank God. My name is Yana. Fifteen years I was I was into drugs. Today I have three children, and also working in the rehabilitation center. Thank you, my dearest brother and sister. Uh, nice. Uh, we can oh we can uh, today i have a plan i think we can have a rehabilitation center maybe for the women and for the children uh, th thank god pastor for the what you just said now i think pastor Na Na pastor natasha is always every year coming with a quite a creative thing concerning the rehabilitation center uh, for few years i took drugs i was into drugs oh, today i am free and today i'm helping up i'm helping up people and to, i can say thank god that today that i'm a businessman my name is angelica 20 years i was into drugs and had some court cases and prison cases so uh, today i opened the rehabilitation center in the go in the city called cantacuse my name is boris i was also into drugs serious one today i am a pa uh, i'm uh, working in the rehabilitation center with pastor yulia happy to be here my name is uh, lesa um, for a few years i was in drugs and vitamin i was taking uh, vitamin uh, a lot of times i w was fighting with my mom lifting my hand lifting my hand fighting my mom i just before the church i just i just want to appreciate my mother because we're please i'm sorry if my mom is here and also before the church to say that i'm sorry for the things i've done to her today 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 i'm in the city of sofiski uh, my, my my daughter my, my daughter is with me today i'm grateful to god Uh, uh, my, I had a husband. I was not into drugs, but I had a husband when he was a drunk and I had the passion to be to be of help to people that are going through rehabilitation. So I joined Pastor Natasha. Uh, we started doing some video clips, put it in, put it in the, um, in the internet to help our people from city of Danisa in Kiev. 20 years as a drug taker and I was a serious and a bad person even for the to the society. Uh, today I am fighting against narcotics so that it will not influence the life of people that are from 15 and 16 because this is always the catchment age. For five years I was, uh, five years I was into drugs. 15 years into into uh, drinking. Today, in the city of where i'm living i'm helping our people in the rehabilitation center i'm from the uh, city of uh, joy pastor lesia five years five years in, uh, into drugs about two and a half years free today thank god uh, i'm working with the children uh, people that are children that have a lot of that have a lot of chale head challenges 
just to be of help to them so that they can uh, be a better citizen in the future. Good evening, church. I was a former uh, na na dependent on narcotics several years. And uh, the, the word brought me to that was because I had some debt to pay. Now I'm I remember one day I was just sitting at the staircase in my place. I felt that there's not concerning my life. I can do nothing concerning my life. Then, then I one day I watched on the TV. Then I saw that I can be of help. Today I'm working with my husband. That we have opened a rehabilitation center in the city of Lvov in Israel, um, Poland, Canada, they have sent some of, uh, sent some of uh, uh, Hallelujah. God bless you. My name is Aksana. Uh, this problem of drugs came through my um, cousin. And today I'm working with the children. Uh, my, my name is Elena. I took uh, alcohol. I was involved in. I was an alcoholist. Today I am a volunteer for working with the rehabilitation center of joy. Fifteen years I was in in alcohol I was in, in alcoholism. Today I'm free and I passed. My name is Angela. I was in, in drugs. Today I'm free. Today we have two groups with I'm working with my mom. Well today we have two groups. We are open the Hallelujah, I mean, my name is Elena. I'm also a leader of a home group, Pataiva. I'm always helping my mom. We're also involved in the narcotics. Thank God for your life, Pastor. If you were not with you, I would have, would have gone. Me and my mom, even, even my, our generation. Thank God. The, um, thank God that I'm happy that I'm here. I just want to shortly uh, tell you that my, my husband was involved in for 30 years in uh, alcohol. 17 years, 17 years he was going to church and he was still involved in alcohol. In alcohol. We tried all we can, but we couldn't just help him. But thank God, uh, through our uh, pastor, but, uh, uh, God sent us a uh, help through a pastor, uh, Natasha Pataeva. We are grateful to God. Thank, thank God, uh, me and my husband, we are, we are now working with pastor that is in uh, Bulgaria. Today we are helping out uh, those uh, helping out in the group, and today my uh, husband was free, was free, and today he's free. Today, two of us, me and my husband, we are sharing us with all our love and with all our hearts, helping out in this group in Bulgaria. Thank God for our pastor uh, Dima, and we thank God that God is going to help use us greatly as we uh, what we have seen in Ukraine so that we can have that have that in Bulgaria we give all glory to God we thank God
for everybody. My name is Alexandra. I was into drugs for, for seven years. Three and a half years I've been free. Today I'm a director and coordinator in rehabilitation centers in Bulgaria as well as in Germany. Good evening. My name is Valeria. I was involved in drugs. Today I'm free. I'm a leader in one of the rehabilitation centers. Good evening. My name is Philip. I was drug dependent. Today I'm a curator for one of the rehabilitation centers. And as well as a, an assistant in the rehabilitation center. Uh, thank God that you are married and your wife believed in you and married you. My name is Tamara. For three, for three years in this church, six years I was involved in drugs. It was through uh, Sister Natasha Pataeva that I was saved and freed. Thank God for her life. Uh, today, uh, I'm with my sister Christina and uh, some books that she, she has helped me. I'm a leader in one of the rehabilitation centers. My name is Valentina. I'm a member of the church. I was also dependent in, in drugs. Even, uh, even my son also, because of the drugs, he divorced his wife. There was no hope for him to be saved. Thank, thank God today I'm a leader uh, in the area of, uh, the, of freeing women or mothers that are, that are dependent on drugs. Thank God. Good evening, church. My name is Vitalik. I was also, I was also in, into narcotics for nine years. I had three court cases, criminal cases. For, for, for 15 years, I was in a in country like Bulgaria to help out in rehabilitating people. Two years ago, I was in the center of Azorswa. Thank God for the life of Pastor Sunday. Uh, today, I am saved and God has freed me, have given me the freedom. Today, I am a coordinator in the rehabilitation center that is in Azov and also working in the construction company. Uh, we can notice that people that are not leaders have gone down to join the group that they belong. I was a husband, the, a wife that was into drugs. And thank God for the life of Pastor Sunday and his prayers. My wife put bed and today we have a son. And I am grateful to God. I will let her left the church and, and thank God that we are returned back to the, to the church one of the church branches and today we are helping out in the rehabilitation of people that are into drugs good evening church my name is Dima I was in drugs uh, today I am uh, director coordinator in one of the rehabilitation groups uh, Dima please come to the left hand side a former drug person for a few years now I'm free and I'm ser uh, ser serving God what, 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 what it means that we don't have
and, uh, and all these leaders have 10, 20, or more people following them. So, so these just the leaders of this movement. So what, uh, what is interesting is not who they were or freedom they got, but who they became. So that's who the key, who they became. You see, all of them are leaders in business, in politics, in something else, but that is the big deal. The big deal is not that they got set free, but the big deal is that they actually become leaders of the society and leaders in the country. Yagwari Shosto, apologize, at this legitimately for salvation, at the leadering, uh, does it mean it's only leader, leaders that just came out? Where are their followers? Because when you look at it, you have people that are leaders and that have people following the leaders. Maybe 10 people or 20 people following them. Uh, 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 the pastor is asking them, so the, the followers are not here at home. Five years, uh, I was into drugs and smoking. The king was into, alcoholi into alcoholism. Thank God for five years now I'm free. And for the past three years now I've been a leader in one of the rehabilitation centers of the church. Good evening, church. My name is uh, Oleg. Of if for five years, more than five years, I was into drugs. Today, I'm a free and a leader. My name is Gennadia. Oh, God, uh, from city Gasica in Germany. Five years free from narcotics. I do video clips and then put it in the internet for people to, on how to s be rehabilitated. And I'm helping out in some regional issues and today we normally do a, a video cover uh, coverage for people that are, God have freed from uh, n n n narcotics in German language good evening my name good evening my name is I'm from uh, I'm from Cassie and I'm living in Germany Uh, for five years now, I'm free, and then uh, to, for t today, I'm rendering my service in the city called Castle, and as well as a sponsor for some of uh, for the rehabilitation center in Germany. My name is Victor. I had a serious problem w with my legs. Uh, I had a problem with my leg that that, uh, that if I need to move out, someone has to go with me. Why are you why are you why are you looking for living in the midst of the dead? Why are you looking for the dead in the land of the living? My name is Lesa. For nine years. For nine years, I was in drugs. For for 12 years now, I'm free. I'm I'm a coordinator in the rehabilitation center. A good person, and I, I want, I'll be happy that I want us to join together, even as we sing the anthem. Very short, the anthem for the rehabilitation center. I just want to give testimony uh, I want to give this testimony eight years I was in, in drugs uh, by the end of this month it will be nine years that I've been free oh, to get together we wrote this song with the people that that went through the rehabilitation center today you, this the song now it has been taken as our Anthem, we give you glory. You that heals us, our heart honors you. We we give you, we restore your name. We give you all the glory because you gave us such a wonderful life.
because you hold our, our future in your hand. We give you glory, our Lord. The heavens together with us exalt, extols your name. Now our heart sings for you. We give you the glory. Because of the life you have given us today. Over because you're holding our future in your hand. Hallelujah. 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 Are people chosen from by God in respect of the, where we are coming from today we are in, in a stre- on our way God gave us freedom our life that was destroyed he has put it together and today irrespective of our sins God has given us freedom hallelujah hallelujah whoa sing with us church hallelujah hallelujah whoa we'll fly to the heaven and we'll forget the pains of the earth bringing glory to the for our father who has done a great things for us God has given us a great life a great future God has given us a great life let's give him glory Restore his holy name. God has given us. God has given us a, a grace. God has given us a great honor. God has given us a great honor. And therefore, we will live to restore his holy name. We will fly to the heaven, we will abandon the earth, earth that is full of pain, bringing honor, praises to our Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. 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 God has given us such an honor, such a dignity, a life of dignity. And because of that, we will restore in his name. God has given us such a wonderful honor, such a, a life of dignity. And because of that, we will exalt his holy name. We will exalt his holy name.
and we don't have much time let's just shout give glory louder 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 glory to God uh, people that are not worthy to live today that are alive all glory to God and thanksgiving to Pastor Sunday and Pastor Natasha uh, great nation great tra nation hallelujah thank you uh, Pastor, uh, Pastor help me help me how can we I can, I can, uh, what can we say about this great thing the Lord has done? <laughs> Is there anybody that in uh, means that maybe we didn't call? Please, you are so precious to us. Whatever you are doing, don't be angry for anybody if we didn't call you to the podium don't go and be angry please keep doing what you are doing and at the same time please if you need our help look for us in the social network we are there let's just welcome our presenters thank god pastor congratulate them congratulate them congratulate them we Please, uh, uh, Pastor John Claude, uh, Pastor Rory, please just come. I just want to hear what. Please congratulate them. Please congratulate them. Uh, we we'll give you this special gift for your what you have, if you are doing. Arrested twice. Bill there was 175 police officers chasing me for four months. I was a drunk. Bill narcotica. And I tried to kill myself. When I was 19, I ran four drug rehabilitation centers. And I've done a few things after that. And this is what the Lord says to us. And especially to my brothers and sisters who have come from nothing. It is my great pleasure, says the Lord. Gospod Gavarish to my sister Radwen Sagavari Gospod. You take that which is nothing. So be zat nis nashu sheikh. And let the greatest glory be manifested through nothing. I my slava sekda bude prayablas asheres nis nashu sheikh. That I would get all the glory, says the Lord. Let the worship be zat slava prinalejilam ne. And you have only touched the surface in Ukraine. For, for I will use the wisdom of God to you to deceive to, to to trick the wisdom of the wise. In their own eyes. set no, ni mudra mudrech sivo. So be ani bili abmanu te. It should be ime no sheres ni znašu she. Should be sheres ni slava maya prešla da zem. There's hundreds of you who are in government positions. Worship no absuda yawa davedu ido pravite sva. But that must become thousands, says the Lord. Ibude tense she prestavite le pasozva bude. And tens of thousands. Vlasti struktura Ukraine. And tens of thousands. Tense she. Listen, those of you who are taking over the responsibility from the church. Nim smo tide na svojo prošlo je. Nim smo tide na to što ve astalis i nim noga v serpi. Ime no tense she doga politike i zata je serpi vostanut bo. 
send those who will have the responsibility in the years that the apostles will be sent out from here. You shall be the greatest professors. The greatest governors, the most compassionate leaders in every area of media. The, the most creative filmmakers. And the most anointed journalists. <laughs> and it shall come through self-discipline. Self-discipline. Self-improvement. Total dependence upon the wisdom of God. And God will get all the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Come, come. This is our brother, uh, it's a professor from Finland. He's a teacher in the in one of the Finland university, he teaches in Finland language and teaches in, in French language. He's also a pastor. His name is John Cloud. Yes, you should tell us what you are experiencing here because we are here seeing this for the first time when thousands of people are getting not just free from addiction but becoming somebody else. What is going to happen to them? Scandinavia to Finland to Europe. What do you think God is speaking to us? Yes. Actually, it started when we came this time, as we were preaching on getting the fear away. Seen 
such a great testimony. Hallelujah. And now to answer to the question. Now to ask the question. I heard a voice talk, say, talking to me right now. Remember the story in the Bible. You saw the bones with no flesh and no life in them. Only the story of that devil coasting, the way coasting. No man can lead them life again. Brother, they coast you, you see your Jesus, it does not be bullshit. But the Lord can act through a man, and the word of ah, man will change other men. No gospel, Gazadal, my pros, which is why I move, very shemo. So I should let the coasting. If for very, shall we make a tone very? So coasting, I should on Prangavari by the Slova. On the job for very, so I should, he should be to my day. That's with the Nigerian Sunday coast. Hallelujah. So it is not only for Finland. At a previous Finland, you may very show no, not very. It's not only for Sweden and, and Denmark and, and Norway. It's not only for Sweden and Denmark and Norway. What I heard is from any white ethno, any white ethno, any white ethno, any white ethno. The time has come when you are separated from any dominion whatsoever. Hallelujah. 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 So it is going to happen, I don't doubt anymore. You hear Finland, they have alcoholism, they have drugs, they have divorce, all those maledictions. But I believe from this testimony that the one who is the God of the living God, I saw the I mean, the countries will save money because people will not go to prison anymore. About this testimony, when we apply there, the Lord of the living life people will save them. It has only started. Nobody will stop it. He need to enter the astanobi. Touch to overzest nationals. May shots wash it up. May finish up Scandinavia. May find your possession. Your prophet is seeing your prophet's day nasty. I see food share as fast. He touch your pocket and share as fast. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think this is okay. Thank you so much. This, this our, this our sister is a, she's a hero. She flew for forty hours. Uh, where we have New Zealand, forty, forty hours all the way from New Zealand. Uh, uh, her cousins and people are related. We are telling her, why are you coming? Why are you coming? And flying for forty hours to come to U Ukraine. You can see Pastor Son, the way there is, there is war is going on. This is so touching being here. Just seeing all those people that were up here. <laughs> oh, I was 13 and I was just a drug addict and an alcoholic. 13? From 13. Wow. I've gone to many dark places. 
and when and finally after in 1997 I got rescued from a very very dark place the and first I, pastor yeah, in Kataya was the apostle at Ocean Global Corp with the book Blue Skies of Wars read today and I started seeking God with all my heart. For 20 years I would go from church to church. And I would Looking for what I found from Pastor Sunday. No ni shivo pa dobna va. To što ja našla u pastora sabe ni sošet svoje na naše zemlje. That was it, let God for set the vision. I just want to say, Jesus, He is our Christ. Rebecca, His gospel, Jesus, na ko nastaya she mu jeep free di vaste. Jibo i bogu islu. Jibo mu bogu islu jete. That's why I come here because I am so thankful. And I just want to say, just, just be so grateful. But Rubiata, send me the toast over here. Good is like that, like a damn. Sometimes you don't realize the precious. Sometimes you don't realize the toast over here. Yes. So this is just a beginning for me. I can't wait to see what happens and what I can do. I said you are already planning your to, to come back again. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, I am. I said, uh, you know, if you could have let, if we could leave your children and everything, if you had been free, you said you could have moved to Ukraine. <laughs> I'm only allowed to stay here 15 days. 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 So many foreigners I would have liked to bring you back. We still have a lot of things to do today. Thank you. I just feel your story, your testimony coming from so far. People should just know what you have been People like you have paid such a huge price to all these men of God. I just wanted the church to know about that. Thank you so very much. Okay, the bed carpet do not have Good at not carpet. Okay, we're going to have um, a presentation. What's the time now? Who's who has a, a train to catch? You know, what's the time for the train? Nine? Give me my Bible, please. What, what time? Uh, the train time for people? 2015? That's 9 o'clock, 9 p.m.? Okay, it's okay. Okay, I will try uh, with the, uh, the translator for to have a teaching for 20 minutes. For us to uh, preach, for me to preach for 20 minutes. Uh, in this case, I can't, I can't just, I can't just pray. Do we, uh, what are these people that need pray, prayer? Uh, let them, uh, please ask them to come. Ask them to come out. Ask them to come out. Ask them to come out now. This. Please just open your Bible to. 
to uh, organize those people that are coming and so that let them arrange themselves and be in order. Uh, pastors down and then the members up. Uh, pastors and leaders, please help them out in organizing. Сейчас будет служение рукоположения, и прежде чем рукоположить, открываем место Писания. Иоанн, Евангелие от Иоанна, 5 глава. С первого по 9 стихи. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem, John 5. Now there is in Jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool, which is called in Hebrew Bethesda, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred up the water. Then whoever stepped in first after the stirring of the water was made well of whatsoever disease he had. Now a certain man was there who had an infirmity that is years. When Jesus saw him lying there, and they, he knew that already had been in the condition for a long time, he said, Do you want to be made well? The sick man answered and said, Sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. Uh, but while I'm coming, another steps down before me. Uh, Evangelist Johann appeared, spared one for the beard. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your bed and walk. And immediately the man was made well, took up his bed and walked. And yeah. После всего был праздник иудейский, и пришел Иисус в Иерусалим. Есть же в Иерусалиме у овечьих ворот купальня, называемая по-еврейски Вифезда, при которой было пять крытых ходов. В них лежало великое множество больных, слепых, хромых и сохших. Ожидающих движения воды. Ибо ангел Господень по временам сходил в купальню и возмущал воду. И кто первый входил в нее по возмущении воды, тот выздоравливал, какой бы ни был одержим болезнью. Тут был человек, находящийся в болезни 38 лет. Иисус увидел его лежавшего и узнал, что он лежит уже долгое время, говорит ему, «Хочешь ли быть здоров?» Больной отвечает ему, «Так, Господи, но не имею человека, который опустил бы меня в купальню, когда, когда возмутится вода». Когда же я прихожу, другой уже сходит прежде меня. Иисус говорит ему, встань, возьми постель твою и ходи. И он тотчас выздоровел, встал, взял постель свою и пошел. Было же это в день субботний. И эта история не о человеке, который 38 лет был болен. Нет. Это история обо мне и о вас, о церкви. The world, the whole world is sick. Потому что весь мир болен. Just like those who are waiting for angelic visitation. If the angel could just come, if the angel could just come, there will be a visitation. There will be a feast. There will be revival. There will be celebration. If the angel could just come. И весь мир болен. Смотрите, там в месте Писания написано, что было много парализованных, много хромых, много слепых, много немощных. Но они все ожидали, как и мы сегодня ожидаем. Церковь ожидает. И чего же церковь ожидает? Церковь ожидала явления ангелов, которые придут и возмутят воду. Церковь ожидает, что Бог придет и сделает возрождение. Церковь ожидает, что Бог придет и решит вопросы. Церковь ожидает, что Он принесет исцеление. Церковь ожидает, что Бог, ангел, придет с неба и принесет ответ. Люди, которые ожидают, и 
и больные ожидали, и верующие тоже сидели и ожидали. И больные олицетворяют тех людей, которые действительно не знают Бога, которые идут в ад. И понятно, что они чего-то ожидают, но в то же время и верующие ожидают. Они просто сидят, молятся и думают, когда же ангел сойдет, когда же ангел сойдет и бездействует. The Christians were believers. Христиане это верующие. No, the believers, they believed that the angel will come. That was what they believed. One day the angel will come. They believed. One day something will happen. That is their belief. They were believers. They believed. One day the angel will come. One day we believe. If the angel will come one day, revival will come. Healing will come. Growth will come. Breakthrough will come. We believe one day. И они действительно были верующими. Они так свято верили, что когда-то ангел придет. В один из дней ангел придет. В один из дней ангел принесет исцеление. В один из дней он принесет откровение. В один из дней он принесет пробуждение. Он обязательно придет. Он обязательно придет. И когда он придет, кто-то исцелится. Кто-то исцелится. Когда придет, но придет. Мы верим, придет. So, today, same thing is happening. И сегодня происходит то же самое. The whole world. All churches, all believers, we are waiting for him. God must, there must be a visitation. God will come. We know one day there will be revival. One day God is coming. You know, in the name of Jesus, we believe God will come. Oh, we are waiting for God's visitation. We are waiting for God's revival. Well, yes, we have been praying for 20 years. God must come. Oh, yes, for 28 years we've been praying. God will come. When God will come. When God visits Ukraine, revival will come. Yes, we believe it's going to come. И сегодня верующие делают то же самое. Они говорят, мы верим, однажды Бог придет, однажды получим мы Божье посещение, однажды точно когда-нибудь Он придет. Весь мир по всему миру церкви так ожидают. Но вот когда Бог придет, вот тогда мы получим откровение. Вот когда Бог придет, когда Бог придет, мы получим исцеление, и мы ждем. И мы знаем точно, что Он придет, мы ждем Божьего посещения. That is exactly what Jesus came to break. He came to alter and to break this mindset of waiting for revival. И это именно то, что пришел разрушить Иисус. Он пришел разрушить понимание или мнение или ожидание, ожидание, что когда-нибудь придет пробуждение. That story was not about the young man. И эта история была как раз не о молодом человеке. This story was not about a young lame man. История была не о том хромом молодом человеке. The story was a symbolism. Но это был символ. It's a symbol of what we should not allow to happen in our time, in our age. We should never allow. It's a symbol, an example, an illustration of what we must not allow. How we must not believe in our time, in our age. И это был символ, символ как раз того, как мы не должны себя вести сегодня, как мы не должны поступать сегодня, как мы не должны думать сегодня. It is prohibited for you to see the needy everywhere, people going to hell, unbelievers, desperate, and to say, "I believe God will come one day. I believe in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah." Revival will come. Holy Spirit will come. Something will happen. Visit no, something will happen in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are waiting. Oh, we believe God. Yes. That must never happen. That is why that story was placed in the Bible. Вам запрещено, вам просто запрещено, видя, что нам мир умирает, запрещено. нам запрещено, видя, что мир умирает, что люди тут в ад, что люди болеют, что люди нуждаются в помощи, сидеть, молиться и говорить, ну, я жду Божьего посещения, я жду Божьего посещения, я верю, что когда-нибудь Бог придет, я молюсь об этом уже 20 лет, я верю, что придет и жду Его. That story is supposed to cancel that kind of practice once and for all. И эта история следует тому, она направлена на то, чтобы разрушить, отменить навсегда этот образ мышления, который был тогда у этого человека и есть у нас сегодня. Like Никогда больше мы не имеем права так думать. Lame, 
Иисус взял этот пример хромого человека. To show us the stupidness, the foolishness, this, the, the ignorance of waiting чтобы for God's visitation. Нам чтобы показать нам глупость, непонимание, просто дурость ожидания Божьего посещения. To never to do that again. Он пришел, чтобы вызов нам бросить не делать этого. It is based on superstition that something must happen before God could move. И он пришел, чтобы разрушить, что люди, это понимание, что люди ожидают, что Бог должен прийти и что-то сделать перед тем, как что-то начнется. Это суеверие, чтобы мы ждали, пока Бог придет и будет что-то двигаться. Бог уже пришел. Иисус уже пришел. That's what Jesus was trying to show. И это то самое, что Иисус хотел показать нам. Because Jesus came there. Jesus came. Jesus came to Потому the pool. что пришел Иисус туда, Он пришел к этому бассейну. But the people were still lying. Yet, all, every, all the people were still waiting. Но люди все равно ожидали чего-то, несмотря на то, что Иисус был там. Today, Jesus is already here. И сегодня Иисус уже здесь. But we are still praying and waiting for God to do something for revival to come. Но мы до сих пор молимся, говорим, Бог, сделай что-нибудь, чтобы пробуждение пришло. But he already came. Но он уже пришел. But we are still waiting. А мы снова ждем. He is already here. Он уже здесь. And we are waiting. А мы все еще ждем. It is prohibited. Это запрещено. So that the reason why Jesus didn't heal everybody else. И причина, почему Иисус там больше никого не исцелил. Is because he was using him as an example. Только потому что он использовал того человека как пример. To show the foolishness of waiting. Чтобы показать глупость простого ожидания. Go and get what you need. Иди и получи то, что ты в чем нуждаешься ты. The reason I want to pray for all of you today. И причина, почему я хочу молиться за вас всех сегодня. Is that you will never go to your city and be expecting. To go and be praying that revival will come, God will come. Чтобы вы никогда, возвратившись в ваш город, не стали ждать и жду и думать, ну когда я буду молиться, пробуждение придет. And you too in the hall. И посмотрите на людей в зале. Never you wait another day for revival anymore. Не ожидайте другого дня для пробуждения. Revival. Пробуждение. It only depends on one thing. Зависит только от одной вещи. You see the needy. Вы видите нуждающегося. You see the sick, no, the sick, the poor, the, the sinner, any kind of need. Вы видите бедного, больного, любого грешника, любую нужду. You stand up. Встаньте. On your feet. На ваши ноги. And you step down there. И шагните к нему навстречу. And the miracle of God begins. И тогда Бог начнет действовать. One. See the need. See the need. Первое, увидь нужду. Attack the need. Атакуй нужду. See the need. Увидь нужду. Build the strategy to penetrate the need. И построй стратегию, чтобы убить эту нужду. See the need. Увидь нужду. Go and pick them by the hand. Тогда пойди и возьми этого нуждающегося за руку. And tell them to get up. И вытяни его оттуда. Jesus is already here. Иисус здесь уже. It is an illusion. И это иллюзия. It is a superstition. Это суеверие. To say we are waiting for Holy Spirit to come, God to come. Holy Spirit already came the day of Pentecost. Говорить мы ждем Духа Святого, Дух Святой приди, Бог приди, Дух Святой уже здесь. Jesus already came. Иисус уже пришел. Kingdom of God is not there. It's already in you. Царство Божие не где-то там, оно в вас внутри. I want your strategy. Я хочу, чтобы вы строили стратегию. You need to go and develop yourself. Вы развиваете себя. Go and study. Учитесь. Go and do research. Исследуйте. Go and study why other people are able to be effective. Посмотрите, почему другие люди эффективны. Изучайте их опыт. Build your mind up. 
и развивайте свой разум. Build your spirit up. Развивайте свой дух. If you have having fear, pray. И если у вас есть страх, то молитесь. If you need uh, no strategies, study. Если вы нуждаетесь в построении стратегии, учитесь. If you need miracles, you know, pray. God close to God. Do solitude. Do yedinene. Do what you need to do, but not for miracle to come. It's just to change you. It's for you to be ready, to be strong enough, to be able to do what you need to do. И если вы нуждаетесь в чудесах, то приблизьтесь к Богу, обнимите Его, изучайте Его и делайте то, что вы должны делать. Не ожидайте, просто так делайте. Don't you think you are waiting on God? Не, не старайтесь просто ждать от Бога. Don't think that you are waiting on God. Не думайте, что это вы ждете от Бога. No, no. God is waiting for you. Это Бог вас ждет. Get ready. И будьте готовы. See the need. You must see some problems. Вы должны видеть нужду, видеть проблемы людей. Develop your mind. Развивайте свой разум. Build strategies. Построите стратегии помощи. To be effectively raise them up, raise them up. Чтобы вы эффективно могли вытягивать, вырывать их из проблем. Just like these people were raised up. Как эти люди, стоящие на сцене, они вырывают других из проблем. Get up from your claim and cripple position. Встаньте от вашей хромоты, от вашей бесполезной позиции. You need to get up. Встаньте, вы должны встать. See the need. Увидьте нужду. Use your leg. Используйте ваши ноги. Move towards it. Подвиньте, идите к этой нужде. Raise the sick. Возьмите ее за руку, вырвите. Heal the leper. Исцеляйте Прощайте грехи. Build strategy. Стройте стратегии. How to speak. Как говорить. Effectively. Эффективно. Build personality in yourself. Постройте свою личность. Build wisdom in yourself. Постройте мудрость в себе. Build effective strategies. Постройте эффективные стратегии. And then go and do it. И потом идите и делайте. Don't you are not waiting on God? God is waiting on you. И не ожидайте Бога. Это Бог ожидает вас. Let's go. Давайте come встанем. И пойдем come on, come on, let's pray. Apostles. Апостолы, мы приглашаем вас. Yeah, I got it in 20 minutes. 20 minutes. I did it in 20 minutes. У меня получилось за 20 минут I did it in 20 minutes with interpretation. И даже с переводом. Okay, line up. Let, let line people up. Давайте выстроим людей. Здесь пастора. А здесь служители. Okay, okay. Okay. Элей сюда ко мне. Господи, бене ми Иисуса. Пастор Топок. Господи, бене ми Иисуса. Ме от Твоего имени. Просто наши руки используй. Наши ноги используй. И накрой этих людей. Мощно и силой. Дух вере. И дух покорения и победителя. Покори всякую землю, любой территории мира перед ногами и под ногами твоих детей. Накрой всех нас твоей благодатью. Мы идем, и ты идешь перед нас. Весь свобождай мужество и благодать им. Благодать и апостольство, чтобы совершить великое. Во имя Иисуса Христа. И весь народ Божий скажет, Аминь. Надо петь какой-то другой, какой-то песни нормальной.
Hallelujah. Oh, poor Lord, the Holy Spirit. I want you to hear the Spirit of Lord. The Spirit of the Lord. I want, I want all of you to hear the voice of God. Because there is no time. I spoke, I preached, I thought on this, this, read the John chapter 5. We are, we are not waiting for God. God is here. You can do a retreat, seeking God. Hear the strategies he will give to you. Read literature. Read the experience of other people. Get, uh, absorb maximum you can. When you feel you are ready, it is you who is supposed to be. It's not God to be ready. We don't pray. We don't pray for revival anymore. It's our shepherd. It's our, it's our pastor. It's our revival. Therefore, it's only to hear his voice and build up your strategy. Straighten yourself. See that? Write down your strategies, your plans, your goals. And start walking like a workaholic with the help of God. If you feel weak, go into retreat. Seek God face. God has been prepared. God is ready. 2,000 years ago, he's ready today. Hello. Be happy serving with boldness, with joy. You remember the preaching with pro? The only person, the person who has doubt and fearful, oh, with joy, with boldness, with boldness, with peace, with rest, Go all over the earth. Conquer the earth. Take it for the Lord. Give God the glory. Thank you. You can go to your places. You can go to your seats. Hallelujah. Today we are speaking on resurrection and life to bring the glory of God. Revival and life. This year there is going to be a unique event. The birthday and a jubilee of our Apostle and our elder, 
we ask Pastor Uriah to give a gift to Pastor Apostle Sunday, our, our elder, a gift. We invite Pastor Tokwe on the stage. We invite Pastor Natasha on the stage. Pastor Tokwe also. We, Pastor Tokwe, 50 years. Um, I am 50 years. Pastor Natasha, 70. We have jubilees. Our dear apostles, our loved ones, out of our heart of this church, Embassy of God, we want to thank you people. If not, you wouldn't have this church. When I read the Bible um, about the Jubilee, you know what is so surprising? God said in the year of Jubilee, he said he will bless you that you will eat the, the, the harvest of one year, you eat it three. We have three. We have nine years of good because three of you are having your jubilee. We want to congratulate you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. We congratulate you, we congratulate you, congratulate you, congratulate you. We congratulate you on your birthday. All oh, blessings, blessing and peace. Galia, church, listen to me. You are congratulating us now. Pastor Natasha will be, will be here. Uh, Pastor Natasha in May is uh, uh, my bed is also in me uh, in May also. All three of us uh, 28th of May 28th of May it will be that Sunday You m write this in your diary. The 28th of May will cover big table, Swedish table on, on Sunday. And we want people, people help us who want to take part. Some idea, some help. We want to feed the, the, the whole church food. You have, we have two people, 50 years. We will enjoy ourselves. Who among you, who wants to help? Ideas, it will not be easy. Galia, can you give your telephone? Phone her. In a how. How you can help. 
You know what we do during New Year? We meet people to. It's for the whole trip. Tw 28th it will be. We will start the celebration on the 26th of May. Please write my telephone down. No, uh, zero six seven zero. If you are writing three eight zero six seven one o three fifty two twenty two repeat thank you we are inviting you in may yeah we will we, 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 we rejoice we will entertain ourselves Thank you for the congratulations, bed witches. We are a big family. When we join up our celebration together, there will be a grace in this place. We will we'll be able to thank you. God bless you. I join Pastor Natasha. Thank you, Pastor Tokbe. Tomorrow is the grand closing. From money, it will be of interest. Don't miss it. It's really celebration. We will now begin to party. Let's begin to be praising the Lord.
церковь с Богом, Божьим благословением до Отечества, мы вас ждем, вот и 5 минут, и 0 минут на этом месте, с Богом.